We're here with Donny Osmond, and Donny, it's your 54th album. It is. Can you about. believe it? And it's called What I Meant to Say. That's right. So what did you mean to say on this album? Well, <laughs> a whole lot. After 54 albums, I finally decided to, to write one. There's a couple songs in there that kind of hit home for me. One that I wrote for my children, one I wrote for my wife. Uh, just, uh, it's very eclectic. I started to write this thing with uh, a whole acoustic design in mind, and it just kind of materialized into what it is now, very eclectic. How did you approach songwriting? If you've done 54 albums, mm -hmm. or 53 before this, yeah. and you've recorded other people's songs, and on your TV shows, and, and through the past, you've recorded other people's songs. Say, okay, after 53 albums, I'm going to write my own songs. <laughs> Well, first of all, I, uh, I regret not starting writing sooner. I have been writing over the years, or just dabbling into it here and there, mm -hmm. but never a concerted effort. But I decided that now's the time to just really start writing as an artist and, and quit doing other people's material. The first album I did for uh, DECA, which is the Universal DECA, which is the label I'm on, they wanted me to do a Broadway album on the heels of Joseph. So uh, it was appropriate at the time. I really enjoyed it, worked with Phil Ramone. Then I had this idea, Caswell, to just do uh, an album of, of songs that I just absolutely love, covers of other people's hits, mm -hmm. and uh, really enjoyed the process. But I did an interview, and this guy was in New York, I believe, and he, he turned to me and just, in a very curt way, he said, how come you're hiding behind other people's material? And I said, what? He said, think about it. You have always done other people's hits. and." I tell you, that was the motivation to, to start writing because he was absolutely right. You know, you take Puppy Love and Go Away Little Girl, all the stuff of the 70s, even uh, the 80s of, of Soldier of Love and Sacred Emotion, it's other people's material. I mean, I threw myself into it, obviously, but there's nothing like singing your own melodies and your own lyrics. So would you say that after all these albums that this is your favorite?